Hi Capricorn, this is a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you. The roles can be reversed as well but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs or you can book a personal reading to get more specific information for your situation. So let's get into it and see what is going on with Capricorn first half of June. Yeah. I won't keep them on the desk. <laughs> we'll make them get off. Okay, so we have material world and we have bound. Okay, interesting. So yeah, it feels like there is some kind of a negative attachment. It could be you, it could be another person that you're dealing with um, that has a negative attachment to, to the material world. So it could even be another connection, for example, and it could just be um, too much of a focus on the 3D and on the material world, which is keeping this person or you attached to something. So let's... Maddox is hiding my cards. Here they are. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this is about. It's Capricorn. the situation we have the five of wands crossed by the three of wands okay so somebody is feeling very very conflicted but they're not taking much action um, it's like they're still kind of waiting for something to happen or for something to just present itself we'll see when we clarify for the recent past we have the knight of wands and for the near future we have the nine of wands okay so a lot of wands so some of you might be dealing with a fire sign definitely let me know if you are i feel like there was a lot of um in and out type of behavior or just inconsistency within this connection in the past and it feels like um it still feels like it's moving towards a little bit of a challenge, but I do see somebody not wanting to give up here. It does feel like this has dragged on. Whatever the issue is here, whatever this conflict is, and it's reaching that point where, you know, um, it almost feels like somebody really has to give it their all at this point in time, at least coming up. So let's see for you. We have the Five of Swords. For them, we have Temperance. For you, we also have the Ten of Swords. For them, we have Death. And potential outcome here is the world, all right? And a message for you is the Three of Cups. Okay, so to be honest, this reading, um, so far, it does feel a little bit more on the heavy side. Um, but I do like that the potential outcome here is the world okay which does talk about a completion of a cycle and moving on you know to the next phase so I do feel like this whatever this difficulty is that's happening at the moment it is coming to an end okay and that the message for you here is also very positive which is the three of cups all about you know just always keep in mind to no matter how serious the situation is don't let it get to you to the point where you're taking it too too seriously it's a it's like a reminder to you know enjoy some of the simple the simple things in life try to find some joy in the small things so let's um let's clarify and see what this is about i know i didn't really give you much of an overview for your energy and their energy but i really do want to clarify um it does feel like there is some kind of an ending here because there's an ending both in their energy as well as in your energy. Um, but this might actually be a positive thing because it might be an ending that is leading to um, the ending of a cycle. 
which will allow there to be a new cycle, which might be a little less heavy. The cat just wants to <laughs> destroy everything. All right. Hopefully that's the end of that. All right, so let me clarify the Five of Wands crossed by the Three of Wands. Okay, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's definitely some kind of a commitment here, at least on one side. Um, if it's not the commitment between the two of you, it could definitely be that there is another commitment here. And what's interesting is that I feel like there is also a commitment that does bring a lot of happiness. There is the sense of belonging, the sense of unity. There is a sense of, you know, stability, but at the same time, there's also a lot of, a lot of stress here. And it's almost as if somebody's going against their happiness. And I do feel like this is some external influence here that is influencing somebody, which is which is possibly what that material world is. Um, just you know, allowing other factors in the environment to affect them, and this is what is holding them back. And it really, it's not that that's holding them back; it's what they are allowing to hold them back. So let me see that Five of Swords for your energy because I feel like you are either just feeling very betrayed and like you can't trust this and for that reason I feel like you feel like this, this situation is over or that this connection is over or you want it to be over or you're just really feeling a strong betrayal here. Uh, Alright, we have the Four of Swords, the Three of pentacles and judgment okay yeah so i do feel like for a lot of you this is going to be a a third party situation going on um and you just feel that you feel betrayed by this person um i do see you healing this though i feel like you are in the process of healing although you still don't trust this person. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that this person cheated on you. Maybe they had a, um, a connection to begin with. And, um, it, it's possible that, you know, you, you believe that, that they would eventually end that other commitment. I don't know, but whatever, whatever the situation is, I feel like you are healing that you still feel betrayed, but you, you are in the process of healing that. And it's almost as if you're, because of that, you're having like a rebirth. There is something that you are understanding now, possibly even accepting, that you hadn't understood before. But let me see the Ten of Swords. Temperance, the Page of Pentacles, and Strength. Yeah, you're definitely on the right path here when it comes to your healing, okay? We have a second card of healing showing up, again, right next to a betrayal type of an energy. I feel like you're taking small steps. This is something that has required for you to have a lot of strength. And again, I feel like, you know, it's still, you're still healing. It's, it, you're definitely not over this situation. You're still feeling the pain of it. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, it feels like, you know, you're in the beginning of this healing journey. But you are a lot stronger. You definitely have learned a lot 
about yourself, possibly about relationships, even about this situation. But there's a lot that you have learned and that you are still learning. And I feel like you're just getting stronger and stronger, actually, by the day. So, yeah. Um, this definitely is not easy. This is a very difficult situation, I feel, that you're, that you're dealing with and very difficult um, emotions. So let's see what is going on with this person here. Let's clarify temperance. It's interesting that they have temperance. Let's see, the Nine of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This person is trying to heal as well. It, it is challenging for them. I feel like this person is also really curious as to what is going on with you. So I don't know if there is contact between the two of you because I kind of feel like, like there has been some kind of ending or there is some kind of an ending that is happening maybe even at currently. But this person is not, is not giving up. It's showing up here as well. It's also showing up in the in the near future. I feel like this person is open to to some kind of a shift here, to some kind of a change or to making a change. Now, again, because I sometimes get these comments where, you know, some people are just really over it. They don't believe that this person is um, making a change. You know, follow your own intuition. This is just a reading and it, like I said, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But what I am seeing here, okay, for those of you that you do feel like this resonates, I do see this person at least trying to make some kind of a shift here, to, to turn the wheel in a new direction from whatever it is that was going on in the past. And I see them doing this in a way where, you know, it's like they're, I'm, I'm even getting determination with this Nine of Wands. Like, I'm not giving up. I don't want to give up. I want to heal. I want to find this balance. It's like this person is open to finding a new way to, to make this work. Let's clarify death. Five of Wands again, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. This person wants to bring an ending to this conflict, to whatever this external influence is, to, or to whatever the conflict is between the two of you. I mean, this Five of Wands could definitely even be um, some kind of a... I don't, it's not exactly a disagreement, but some kind of a conflict between the two of you. Not seeing things from the same perspective, not agreeing on certain things, not being able to communicate efficiently, for example, being competitive, letting ego get in the way, all of these things, all of these things could fall under the category of that bound card, being bound to that, to that negative way of behaving. This person is wanting to put an end to that. They're wanting to put an end to that Five of Swords, to the fact that you might not trust them, to that betrayal, to that whatever, whatever that was. All right. And the reason why is because, well, they do feel this commitment to you. And again, it could even be that this is a commitment to somebody else still wanting to put an end to that, to the betrayal that is concerning another commitment in some cases. Okay. Let's see the Nine of Wands for the near future. The Three of Swords and Justice. Yeah, this person is feeling heartbroken right now. This person is feeling the pain. I know you are too, obviously. Um, very much so. And, you know, you, you definitely have your reasons if this person did betray you. Um, or if they have been 
deceitful in any way. And again, follow your own intuition, you know, depending on what type of person this is and what your inner self is telling you, you know, you do not have to take this person back if they want to come back at all, okay? I'm just reading the cards and what I see here is this person really wanting to make things right, okay, with justice um, here. They're not giving up. world for the potential outcome. The Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Wands. There's a closing out. See, here it is. There's a closing out of this pain. I feel like, you know, if this relationship doesn't come to like a like an end <laughs> completely, um, and for some of you that could definitely be the case, but I feel like that is completely up to you. If you decide that you want this to be over, that is the outcome here for you. You, you have that control here. You can close out this cycle, which means you would also be closing out this pain, you would be closing out this disappointment, and you would be closing out this, you know, whatever is still left in you that would still um, want this. You, you do have that ability to completely let that go. If this person does come back wanting to make things right and they do come back in the right way, I feel like, again, it's in your control. This cycle of pain, of this ending, of whatever it was that was disappointing, again, can come to an end and there can be this, this new beginning here. And I do see this person at least trying to, trying to close out that, that cycle of the deceit, of the disappointment, with the intention of starting over. And so here with the Three of Cups, you know, as I said in the very beginning, yes, you know, try to enjoy the small things in life, and no matter how difficult of a situation you might be going through, that is definitely there still for you, available to you whenever you want it, to find a little bit of joy here and there until you are fully healed. But this is also a card of reconciliation. So for those of you who feel like this is a person that you would want to be with and you know that that potential is there and you know that things can be balanced and right, but only then, okay, this is the message that, yeah, that is definitely a possibility here in this connection. Okay, so again, take what resonates for you. Disregard what doesn't. It's really all up to you here. It's really all up to you. Um, but yeah, you know, just, just be mindful of you know this person's intentions and if they really are coming back in this way as is showing up in this reading. So if this did resonate, let's see the final oracle message for you. All right, we actually got two. We have the full moon eclipse, which is conclusions are within reach. Yeah, exactly what we were just talking about, right? Conclusions with that world card. And we have the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So yeah, I mean, I don't believe in luck exactly, but this is just an expression, all right? The universe is on your side. Luck is on your side. You can actually find some happiness here in your life, okay? Um, it's all about you having the control and you making the decision that you feel is best for you. All right, Capricorn, those were the messages for you and much love.